My name is Michael Armitage. Michael Armitage. Armitage. I'm a painter and I paint quite large figurative paintings. I went to art school in London at the Slade School of Art for my bachelor's and then I did my postgraduate at the Royal Academy of Arts. I was born in Nairobi, Kenya, um, to an English father and a Kenyan mother. My paintings are oil paint on Lubuga bark cloth. They begin with the process of making the bark cloth where the bark is peeled off a tree, soaked, burnt, beaten, and then it turns from a hard bark into a soft cloth. When I'm in Kenya, I spend most of my time researching. I spend most of my time traveling around the country. When I'm in London, that's when the paintings come together. And that's really when I spend a lot of time in the studio building the paintings up over several months and years. When I was about six, I remembered making a drawing. It was probably a car or a jet plane or something like this, and I drew it. And I thought, ah, that's, that's OK. And then slowly as I got older and I drew more and more and more, that was probably the only thing that I did where I felt other generations, so adults, anyone older, would also take what I was doing seriously. And this was actually something that was quite gratifying at that age. I then continued quite obsessively drawing and painting and from then onwards it was, I sort of never looked back. I don't ever think I considered it as a form of work, but more as a way of being and more as a way of reflecting on different aspects of life and trying to do something productive with that. The subjects of my work are quite varied. I generally tend to not limit myself, whether it's exploring an idea through an image or through a painting, or whether it's trying to actually represent something that's happened in real life, attending political rallies and making work about that, to thinking more conceptually about how exoticism figures and the part that cliché plays in both dumbing down the cultural history of where I'm from and the political contemporary life of where I'm from. I would say that I've always wanted my paintings to have an element of accessibility in that when I was setting out to make paintings in the beginning, one of my considerations was for showing work in Nairobi, in Kenya. What I had wanted to happen within the work was that if somebody walked off the street who didn't have an art education, who didn't have a background in art, that they would see something that they would recognize and be able to have an interaction with. And so from that sense, my first audience in my mind was a Kenyan audience. In 2020, um, I opened an arts institute in Nairobi with the telling of the story and the narrative of East African art is something that we really wanted to do as an institute. Mm -hmm.